Heights 20 years ago exposed racial tensions in the neighborhood and had a ripple effect on the 1993 mayor's race in which incumbent David Dinkins lost his re-election bid. Joining us to discuss their memories of those days and much more are four veteran reporters who covered the event. Beth Harpaz covered the story for the Associated Press and is now acting lifestyles editor for the AP. Jonathan Hicks from the New York Amsterdam News, who writes a column for the Amsterdam News, covered Crown Heights for the New York Times. Mark Riley, the host of WWRL's morning show, hosted a talk show on WLIP radio at the time of the riots. And Wayne Barrett of the Daily Beast and Newsweek was at the Village Voice in 1991. I think we've covered all the news organizations <laughs> in the city between all of us. Welcome to all of you. Um, I'll, uh, I'll start with you, Mark Riley. What were your memories of, uh, of what happened and how it got covered and what kind of uh, coverage did you provide? It was uh, a, a very, very troubling time, mainly because, first of all, some of the issues that simmered underneath before the violence broke out had been there for a while. Uh, the whole question of being favoritism toward the Hasidim, et cetera. But what I remember most vividly about the entire event was the fact that it seemed so out of control. There was a, a, a story, I, Wayne, I don't know if you ever heard about it, but there was this rumor that at one point, two veteran black activists, whose name, whose name I won't speak here, uh, who didn't like each other very much, had been, you know, People feared so much for their safety that they both ended up in the same car on a side street off of uh, uh, Eastern Parkway, and they were there for like an hour, sitting, you know, hardly speaking to each other. It was that far out of control. There was nobody that you could say was leading this. Uh, the question of who incited it was was an open question, mm -hmm. and, and I think even to this day may have been an open question. And some of the wounds that were uh, were exposed then uh, partially healed, but not totally. Very interesting. And Beth, uh, you were covering.